Let's face it, Pokemon is easy. You put together a team of absurdly overpowered Pokemon and then just blast your way through your opponents. But what if I wasn't the one to build my team? In this video, I'm gonna play Pokemon White, but every battle I'm given a new, completely random team. Will I be able to beat the game if I have absolutely no control over the team I use? Well, yes. I could just re-roll my team until I get a good one. So I decided to add two other rules. If a Pokemon dies, it's permanently dead, and I can only catch one Pokemon per route. So because there are a finite number of routes, I could run out of Pokemon to use, therefore losing the run. Alright, let's do this. I decided to choose Snivy. Not that it matters, it changes every battle, remember? The first battle was against my rival. For some reason, the mod didn't seem to work here. I still don't know why. But when I encountered the first wild Pokemon, the issue was resolved. And so the run could officially begin. One of the first things I noticed was that the team changes only once I enter the battle, so there wasn't a way to check out my team in advance or prepare, making the battles even more unpredictable. I made it to Accumula Town, where I first battled N. Let's see how this turns out. Max, what are you? A Burmy. What? <laughs> I have only Protect! Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the movesets of my Pokemon will also be random, which can lead to situations like this, where I have no attacking moves. Nope, nope, <laughs> there was no way I was winning that. <laughs> Unlucky. So I quickly reset and started over. This time, I realized the importance of having more team members, since the more I have, the higher chance I have to get something good. With that in mind, I caught my first Pokemon. As you've probably already established, this challenge is largely based on luck. Sometimes you're given a stoned rat. Other times you're given a literal war machine. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Frickin' Genesect. <laughs> Lillipup is going down, oh my god. With that, I took on the first gym. I was given a Watchog and a Pig Knight. Unfortunately, I might, maybe, have overlooked the fact that Watchog was only level 8. And so, we lost him. Thankfully, Pig Knight was a perfect counter for the rest of the gym leader's team, earning us the first gym badge. You only have one Pokemon, and you call yourself a trainer? You're <laughs> laughing, you're laughing. Someone was killed today. Take this, Hyper Beam! <laughs> With those unrelated transitions out of the way, I took on the second gym. And this time, well, let's just say luck was on my side. We're gonna send out- Oh my god, we get a Reshiram. What? Okay, GG. That's- that's- <laughs> I think that's it. Firefang. Alright, nice. And wow, that's it. That's- that was an easy gym. <laughs> okay, great. Dire Hit! In Unova, it's called Dire Hit. Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. Alright, enough with the funny dialogue. Let's take on the third gym. I started out with a Sand Slash. Not too shabby. But when I checked my party- Oh my god, we have a Victini. <laughs> yeah, I probably don't need to explain how this fight ended. I love RNG. Alright, buckle up because at this point the run suddenly took a steep turn and became a lot more difficult. I realized that the further I progressed in the game and the difficulty increased, getting unlucky would become a lot more unforgiving. Getting a team of Rattata at the first gym might not be too much of a setback, but getting that same team against the champion would not end well. And this really started to show. In fact, you can actually see the very moment I realized this. It's fine, we can just do that. Alright, we have Dragon Pulse. That's pretty freaking good. Let's kill this Emolga. Great. First Pokemon down. I finally managed to take down Elisa's first Emolga, but at this point, my team is already quite worn out. I needed a stroke of luck to outlive the second one. Dragon Pulse? Come on. Take it out. Oh, we get a critical hit! Very nice. Well, we almost had her. I'm forced to switch into Sandial, who, thanks to his Intimidate ability, lowers Emolga's attack. Elisa heals again, so I decide to safely lower his attack using Sandal's Intimidate and then switch into Volcarona, who now doesn't take much damage from Emolga and can finally end that stupid flying rat. Whew, okay, now that that's over, and I forgot about Substrika. Come on, don't do much, please. Don't do much, don't do much. Oh! No! Well, that put me in a tough position. I end up sacrificing Volcarona for a clean switch into Sandile to lower Zipstrika's attack. The only way I saw myself winning this was by sacking a couple other teammates for the sake of lowering Zipstrika's attack with Intimidate. Okay, triple attack drop and, and a speed drop thanks to Paralysis. That's exactly what I needed. It is what it is. They both did their job. And now, everything relies on Bantha. I have Bulldoze. Come on. Zipstrika's paralyzed. Okay, she was gonna go for quick attack, wasn't she? <sighs> Quick attack. Yes! Okay, the attack drops come in, come in clutch. Bulldoze. Oh my god, we pulled through. I played black and white countless times and know these games like the back of my hand. Despite this, I always forget at least one of the million rival battles in this game. At this point, it was tradition. So unprepared and with only four Pokemon, I'm forced to take on Charon. Well, surely I would get at least a decent team in this difficult situation.
I hate RNG. So with a team of babies, I had to somehow take down my rival. Okay, I'm sure it's doable. In fact, your teeny new Dragon Rage, which helped me deal with Churn's Lipart. The problem was the Pig Knight in the back, though. It had the means to take down any of the little shits I was given. So I used Dragon Tail to bring it out early and hopefully use Aqua Tail to deal good damage, but unfortunately, Dratini was too weak to survive at that point. At least it gave me a clean switch into Duosian, which was great, until I realized it didn't have any attacking moves. Shit. We're gonna use Toxic, and then we're gonna use Endeavor. Slowly but surely, and with the help of a little luck, I'll send out Jim. He has a lot of defense. We, we avoided the attack. Let's go. I was able to stall out Pig Knight and eventually took it down without any extra casualties. Seed Bomb. Duh! 5 HP. Let's take it out. Great. Pansage. Dead. Now he has his Tranquil left. Yeah, okay. I, I, th I think I think sacking Jim was the right move because I, I at the very least I have to win the battle. So quick attack. Toxic. Great. Maybe we can get off an Endeavor. Quick attack. <gasps> no! No! Wait, what? Since... Didn't really do that much damage. Wow. Wow. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Whew. With only two remaining Pokemon, I made it to Driftville City. Caught two new Pokemon in the nearby routes, and with a total of only four Pokemon, challenged Gym Leader Clay. All right. I only have four Pokemon, so I'm in desperate need of a very good matchup. Give me something good right now. Really? Really? That's honestly such a middle finger to my face. Great! Another pile of garbage! I had a couple decent Pokemon, but this was definitely not an ideal situation. I tried dealing some damage with Elekid using a combination of Magnet Rise and Endeavor, but Clay just healed and struck down Elekid on the next turn. This meant the whole run depended on three mediocre Pokemon. Though to my surprise, Girder actually dished out some decent damage. Okay, maybe we can bulk up against the Palpatone. I won't get too greedy, I'm just gonna attack it with Brick Break. Maybe it's gonna be- Oh, so close. Uh, we avoided the muddy water, which is really good. And now we can take out that stupid Palpatode. Last out was Clay's ace and a really powerful Pokemon, Excadrill. I was a bit worried, but then Clay got greedy and used Hone Claws. So I guess I'll take the fifth gym badge. That could have gone a lot worse. I then had a fairly uneventful trip over to Mistralton City where the next gym was located. And it seemed my luck had finally started to resurface. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Oh my God. Look at this team. It's stacked. Kiram, Haxorus, Terak. Tachyon, Fracture, and Amoongus. After a long streak of tough luck in gym battles, maybe I could finally nope. catch a break. <sighs> I hate RNG. Skyla had a team of fully evolved Pokemon, so I knew that if I wanted to win, I had to sack Shelmet for a clean switch and a throw. Who had Stone Edge? Considering my current luck with RNG, relying on an 80% accurate move was not my favorite option, but it seemed like the only one. Die, Swoobat. There we go. Finally. Thinking maybe Throw could survive another hit, I stay in, but it turns out to be a mistake. Wanting to save Clang for Swana, I send out Temple. Oh, 5 HP. Oh my god. Okay, Unf okay, Unpheasant goes down. Come on, Jet. Jet pulled through. I decide to spare Temple, as I don't have that many encounters available at this time. So I send in Clang, which turns out to be a safe switch. Clang knows Thundershock, which deals quite effective damage, so Swana went down without much trouble. With that, I had somehow earned six badges relatively unscathed. I know your secret. The seventh gym is an Ice-type gym, which is one of the worst typings with a lot of weaknesses. So there should be a fairly high chance that for once, I get a good matchup. Oh my god, yes. Do we have an Embor? Okay, okay, never mind. We have the perfect counter. What? He has Brine! Oh, okay, thank god. Beartick is not a special attacker whatsoever. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh my god, yes, we take out his Ace already. Let's go! Woo! Easy gem. One of the rare instances of me actually getting lucky caught in 4k. I hope you enjoyed that because there's not a lot where that came from. Back to pain and suffering. It was time for the 8th gym and finally I actually had a full team going into this one. The 8th gym leader, Iris, has a well-known tendency to use Dragon Dance, which made me a bit uneasy. If my leading Pokemon isn't a strong one, it gives her a free turn to set up. Caracosta, okay. Ooh, he's setting up. That is concerning. Let's hope that we get a good rollout. A dragon Dance. Great, we hit. Dragon Rage? Why would you set up if you're just gonna use Dragon Rage? Okay, we, we connect with the rollout. Take out the Fracture. Right again. Let's go, we connect. Oh, wow, okay. We deal a lot of damage. Wait, is it- Am I actually gonna have an easy gym battle for once? No way. We connect again. Ah? Uh... Oh my god, we actually beat the gym with ease. What? I got really lucky to hit all those rollouts. Every now and then, I guess I do get lucky. God damn. Freaking Cresselia. Oh my god, my luck is actually insane key. As Mr. Gattuso once said, Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Indeed, Mr. Gattuso. 
Indeed. And wow, would you look at that? Oh. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> what the f Okay. Simisir. Fuck. That did nothing. Why did that do so much damage? I'm gonna have to sack Dingle. Yeah. Well, I have jets. Really? Let's go! Okay. Okay, Simisir's down. Come on, please, one shot. If we can one shot. If we could one shot. Oh, Toad. <laughs> the Elite Four and Plasma bosses will, to no surprise, be the most difficult part of this challenge. Their teams are so strong that one unlucky team would most likely be a run-ender. As always, I took on Chantal first. Okay, Alamola. Interesting. Uh, Chandelier, okay. We have Maractus, we have Gullerk, Metang, and Kranidos. Not a bad team. My team was actually pretty decent, though turns out that Alamola actually sucks. And I thought people didn't use it because, well, look at it. It is still able to deal with Kefagrigus. And Maractus was pretty much the perfect counter for Jellicent. Oh, Chandelier. Oh god. Yeah, it's gonna go for a fire type move now, and I'm pretty sure I'm faster, so. Yeah, Fire Blast. It did a lot, though. We are faster. Good. No! 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 Dude! No! Oh, oh man. Ha, ah, that's unlucky. That is literally one HP. I only have five Pokemon going forwards. Yeah, okay. There we go. Great! Losing a team member this early in the league was brutal because it not only meant I had less firepower, but also a lesser chance to get a good Pokemon on my team. Next was Grimsley. Great. A Herdier. A Do What? Okay, a Tornade. Uh, that's, yeah, that's Tornadus. A Pupitar. A Bear Tick and a Weedle. We have a Tornadus, though. That's pretty good. Finally, I had a little bit of luck. Okay, we're gonna take out the Scrafty. Crocodile. Oh my god, he did a lot of damage. Well, we're gonna use Superpower. Let's go. Okay, Crocodile. That's a massive threat neutralized. Lipard. Okay. It's gonna use Fake Out. Night Slash. Night Slash. What? We have Icicle Crash, though. Oh, close. Full Restore. Okay. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. No. Jeez, snap out of it. Stop simping, okay? Yes! Let's go! Does he have another Pokemon? Oh my god. Ah, Metal Claw, please live, please. Let's go! 8 HP! Okay, superpower, outspeed, blaze, we outspeed. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go! We actually pulled through. The following two Elite Four battles were fairly uneventful. Both times I got mediocre teams that still did the trick, so I was able to make it to the champion's room. Ooh, castle. Here we go. Ooh, this is the most epic scene in Pokemon. Let's go! Damn, you guys are fucking awesome. So came the plasma boss fights. It all came down to this. Surely this time I would get a good team. <sighs> really? Really? I hate RNG. So much. Oh my god! What the f- We have a Gigalith, an Amolga, a Cradilly, that's- that's the name, and a Tepig. Huh. Well, Waterfall. And he's faster. Oh god. Bro. Yeah, this isn't looking good. Okay, one shot. Good. Good. Jet's pulling through right here. Cling clang. Gonna send an Amolga. Discharge. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage. Ooh, so did that. Night Slash. Static, okay. I mean, it was about to die anyways, but thank you. Okay, awesome. Bounty Locks. Frost Breath, undead. Cheese. Come on, cheese please. Flamethrower. We're faster, right? No, okay. No! Really? Okay. Uh, at least che at least cheese did something, right? Paracosta. Oh, okay. Well, there it, there it is. <laughs> hey, we're faster. That's good. Paracosta should go, go down from this. It, it definitely should be a one shot. Uh, Karakasta goes down. Maybe we can win? Come on, dude! 1 HP. We have one Pokemon left. Archaeops. Oh, Citrus Berry? Okay. I mean, maybe if I connect now. Could I win this? <gasps> Wait, did I win? Whilst we did win this one, we still had to deal with the Getsus fight. And we only had one Pokemon left. I needed a miracle. I needed nothing less than a legendary if I even wanted a chance to pull this off. Okay, Bisharp. By no means bad. But to be honest, I didn't think it would be enough because well how would a bisharp take down getz's entire team but then i checked the move sets sword stance wait 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 okay the moves aren't amazing Bri we have brick break brick break is huge payback and metal claw are pretty shit but sword stance because kofagrigus can't hit us we can use sword stance and then maybe sweep hopefully though jet isn't very fast so i don't know how that'll go but let's 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 go for it <laughs> shadow okay shadow ball that does nothing oh my god this might be the miracle <laughs> okay we have we have full attack now payback <laughs> oh my god can i actually do this what okay hydragon hydragon oh my god am i faster than hydragon 
Oh my god. It might be speed EVs or something. How did I add speed? I know Hydreigon isn't that fast, but he he definitely is faster than Bisharp. I I'll take Iron Head. Yeah. Oh, that's way better than Metal Claw. Mid battle boosts here. Let's go. <laughs> we outspeed Bufalant. Okay. I think we're going to take him out. Okay. Critical hits. Size me toad. Uh oh. <gasps> oh, I can actually do this. <laughs> Electros. Okay. Payback. I'm faster. Wait, this is it, right? No. He has a Bisharp of his own, but I think we can- No way. No way with- <laughs> No way that just happened. That's a miracle. We actually just witnessed a miracle. What the fuck? Oh my god. I love RNG. That was legitimately miraculous. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and maybe even subscribe. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.